Gentlemen, can I have your attention? We are about to start our last discussion panel and I have a great pleasure to introduce you David Gorniewski. He will be our today's moderator. David, the floor is yours. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I invite you to listen to panel uh, Schumann Academy workshop to Tracy's community of nations look like in the eyes uh, of young people uh, according to Schumann's idea. Uh, Robert Schumann valued diversity, so I will ask the speakers to each say a few words in their language. Uh, it is my uh, pleasure to introduce the following speakers. Uh, Faustina von Fire, Vice President of Science, uh, Schumann Creative Leaders, student of psychology at the Catholic University of Lublin. Cześć Faustyna, co u Ciebie? Cześć, dziękuję, wszystko dobrze. <laughs> Bardzo się cieszę, że mogę tutaj być e, za mościu, razem z Wami. Uh, Thank you, thank you, Faustina. Uh, Georgi Germesas, Georgi Germesas Fili, uh, teacher at American International School Progress and member of the political party Lero for Georgia. Gaman Jovan Georgi, Logo Rachar. Gaman Jovan Madu, Gargatuar, Spirit Shibidi Madu, Gaman Jovan Madu, Gaman Jovan Madu, Gaman Jovan Madu, Gaman Jovan Madu, Gaman I can also translate uh, hello, thank you for inviting me here, I'm so happy to have you. Uh, thank you. Uh, Paweł Zainalow, uh, stu stu student of the Catholic University of Lublin. Cześć, Paweł. Cześć. Albo, jak to się mówi w języku kraju, z którym przyjechałem, Asalamu Aleikum. Uh, my name is Paweł. Mam kościem da Podeljana, Uzbekistan Dana, Kietmarzu. Ja pochodzę z Uzbekistanu, urodziłem się w Azji Środkowej, chociaż mam korzenia słowiańskie, między innymi polskie, ukraińskie. Przyjechałem tutaj trzy lata temu, studiuję na KUL, stosunki międzynarodowe. Akurat dzisiaj przyjechałem, może dwie godziny temu, po obronie licencjacji. Dzisiaj miałem obrony i od razu jestem tutaj z Wami. Miło Was wszystkich spotkać. Thank you, Paweł. Uh, I asked the speakers to say a few words about uh, themselves uh, in English. Uh, I asked Faustina to speak first. Thank you. So, um, I'm, my name is Faustina and um, I'm doing Master of Psychology this year and a Bachelor of Italian Philology, so it will be a really challenging year. Um, and that's it, I'm focusing on that stuff. Thank you. Uh, please tell us a few words about yourself, Georgi. Okay. Uh, my name is Yuri Germesashvili. Uh, I'm from Georgia. And uh, right now I'm working, teaching uh, in the American uh, school, American International School. I'm teaching social studies, uh, civic and AP. Lawrence and colleagues. Uh, I have graduated to the State University, a bachelor's degree in uh, political science, and that's all I can say. Well, thank you, and please uh, use uh, a few words about yourself, Pamela. Uh, okay, as I said, uh, I was born in Tashkent, the capital of Uzbekistan. Have, I have been living there for 18 years, and after I became a uh, major, I turned 18, I came to Poland, where uh, I, I lived here only for three years. Um, I'm a stipendist, okay, stipendist uh, for Poland school. Uh, um, I'm a stipendist of uh, the John Paul II <coughs> Foundation in Lublin and also a student of international relations faculty at Catholic University of Lublin.
Uh, okay, I uh, have uh, first uh, question. Uh, Faustyna was at the Schumann Primarium Forum in Krasiczyn, where the idea of establishing a Robert Schumann scientific group was born. Uh, Faustyna, we talk about the ideas and concepts implemented recently. Uh, Faustyna, uh, what initiatives have you managed to implement after the previous forum uh, that contribute to your mobilization? Thank you for the question and thank you first of all uh, for the opportunity to be here with you all. It's a gorgeous moment uh, to see people again who I met um, one year ago, two years ago two years ago uh, in Krasiczyn during the um, Schumann Schumann Forum. Um, and it's a pleasure to meet new people who came here from different uh, parts of Europe and who found out um, that about this initiative and um, decided that it's worth to use this chance in order to enrich ourselves with the new knowledge, tools, experience and um, relationships. We are not here due to the school duty or because of somebody forced us, I guess, um, but because we are young, ambitious, creative, leaders, uh, exactly, <laughs> who want to build, create a beautiful world around us by using their skills, competence, gifts, resources, to develop themselves and fulfill ourselves with the positive energy. Because being here among uh, so many impressive leaders, it releases a lot of oxytocin, a uh, hormone of happiness. We are completely different, but we can communicate, share our ideas, support each other, talk about our, our own countries, culture, uh, and invite each other to our home cities. And, and it's beautiful. Uh, during the last year, I was in 10 countries, taking part in different European youth projects, attending trainings, leading workshops, and I met a lot of youth who daily um, choose to be active, to put efforts, to represent their own countries, to reach out to people. And it's really inspiring for me and motivated uh, to be one of them, to be one of you. Um, and for example, um, after last year, during Schumann Schumann Forum, I've met um, people and um, it occurred that they are from the same city, from the same, uni uh, same university, and um, we were so inspired by uh, Schumann's idea of building strong community uh, based on certain values that we discussed yesterday, um, that we decided to start um, science circle, um, science club in our university called Cre uh, Schumann Creative Leaders. And after around two months, um, with the help of our mentors, uh, Professor Zbigniew Krysiak, um, Tomasz Krysiak, and uh, Ryszard uh, Krzysztofski. Um, summer Academy that lasted uh, three days. We invited uh, experts and leaders in, um, with the big experience from different fields. And it was a really valuable time. Um, we have learned a lot and we are going to use the skills in the future by uh, being active. Um, for example, organizing events or um, workshops for the um, youth in the schools. And our club uh, was established precisely with the intention of creating um, the environment for uh, the youth who wants to be active, who wants to take the chances and grow uh, in the community that have, uh, that have um, the same values, the same goals, to develop their own potential and um, uh, who support each other. Um, now, we have a lot of ideas and we are working on another project, for example, connect with mental health. And uh, it's amazing that we have impact on, on uh, such important um, things, that we have voice, 
Um, also, we plan to organize a workshop for leaders uh, in order to gain knowledge about some tools and to learn how to use it. And I think it could be the response uh, for the problem that we discussed yesterday about um, leadership crisis. Uh, I think that in um, our community, the leaders are improving, they're growing, um, the future leaders. So I'm really happy um, to be among uh, such extraordinary people. And I see that um, you every day do a lot of work, a lot of good work. Mm, and I feel really inspired. And it's beautiful that we youth have so many ideas, plans, and uh, big potential, and a strong background in the form of experts around us who are eager to help us, mm, to show us the right direction, give um, advice. Um, for example, who organized this uh, symposium where um, they share with us uh, their previous experience and knowledge. <coughs> Mm, so I would like uh, to encourage you now um, to ask yourself two important questions. What are you good at? What are your strengths? And second, how do you want to share it with others, with the world? Thank you. Thank you, Faustina. The next question will be uh, for uh, Giorgi. Giorgi, share insights on the challenges young people face regarding the mobilization and active participation in social and political life, uh, as well as the steps Georgia uh, is taking to involve its youth in the values and initiatives fostered by the three CIAS region. Uh, Georgi, what the challenges do young, young people in uh, Georgia face regarding the mobilization and active participation in social and political life? Thank you for such an interesting question. Uh, but I, I have to admit, um, I mean, uh, who doesn't like to talk good for their countries? But I have to admit that uh, there is a serious problem in Georgia when it comes to uh, mobilization of uh, young people in politics. Uh, there uh, is unfortunately a low, uh, low political um, uh, particip uh, participation. Uh, for example, uh, even in, in elections, so uh, uh, so many people who are coming to uh, elected districts are uh, those who are getting pensions uh, and older than 40 uh, years. Uh, so, of course, uh, this is making uh, youngsters out of the politics. Uh, but I think it has uh, its uh, reasons. For example, the government, uh, from their side, isn't uh, doing anything to uh, change uh, anything for good. Uh, also, there's a problem uh, with immigration. Uh, so many uh, young people in Georgia are uh, trying to go other countries to find a uh, better life, uh, better working conditions, and for more money. Uh, and unfortunately, these things combined creates a very bad situation for young uh, participation in politics. But uh, this year, I have some hopes, maybe something will be changed. That's why I want to think of the participation, of your participation. Thank you, Georgi. Uh, the next question will be for Pavel. Uh, Pavel, uh, pa Pavel will uh, talk about how institutions can help young people with their initiatives. Uh, Pavel, how can uh, governments and ins institutions support youth-led initiatives that promote regional integration uh, according to Schumann's ideas? for the opportunity to speak. Uh, I would like to remind that uh, that we are doing now is already something what is worth doing that. It's the beginning, it's the smaller steps by which we are starting now. 
Um, last year, I had the opportunity to participate in uh, modeling of uh, United uh, of the European Union Parliament in Brussels, and I met a lot of young people, my age, your age, from uh, practically every country of Europe. And what I noticed that uh, mostly when I ask them about their patriarchs, let's say, the followers of the European Union, uh, they didn't remember about them. So, uh, the main thing what we as young leaders should do is do everything what we can where we are now. What is in our possibility? Uh, to use all the power we have for the moment, where we are. Is it school, higher school, or university, institute, our working place? We have to promote that values by our, uh, by our lifestyle. It's, uh, it's not uh, only the words on the paper, on the paper which we proclaim uh, during this uh, these events, let's say. But every day we have to remember about that, uh, that we are part of this organization every week or twice in the month or uh, maybe once in month, in month we have our meetings, we have our groups where we can uh, motiv motivate uh, ourselves by the examples of our friends. Uh, what can also do uh, organizations, uh, local government organizations and non-government organizations is to support us young leaders, our members uh, by, by some fin financial help, of course, is the basis of everything because uh, everyone understands what we develop, but we cannot uh, do a lot of things what we can. But we have uh, ambitions and we have potential to do that. Also, uh, consolidation <coughs> and giving us the understanding that we are not alone. That in every city, not, in, not only in our region, we have young people with uh, similar with similar uh, things, with similar lifestyle, uh, also values, as I said. Uh, the heart of uh, Schumann's organizations are, for the moment, at students, uh, students' world at universities. And from this part, it will start uh, to the others. Uh, to the other part of uh, new generation. So, uh, we have for the moment already this helping and we are, we are thankful for that for the moment. And uh, by, me, by these meetings like we are organizing right now, we are hoping that we will be noticed by new different organization, non government organization, also governmental organization who, who may help us uh, who may help us to provide to bring these values to renew new uh, new generation of Europe. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, the next question will be for uh, Georgi, uh, what steps in Georgia taking to engage its youth with the values and initiatives of the Tricia Strategy? Um, so for the previous question, my answer was kind of negative, I guess. <laughs> so I would like to bring some good um, news. Uh, as I know, one of the uh, main values of uh, this initiative is to have good connectivity and network, right? 
Uh, with networking, I can say that uh, Georgia is active, uh, actively engaged in uh, Erasmus projects, which is uh, getting good uh, um, chances to your to um, have contact with other Europeans and to uh, get closer. Uh, also, I would like to say that uh, this year, uh, early this year in 2024, uh, uh, Georgia. Uh, so Hungary and Romania signed a deal, uh, which is about to uh, start new projects, uh, for example, uh, undersea uh, cables, which would uh, bring electricity uh, from Caucasus to uh, Europe. Uh, and also, uh, Georgia and Romania signed a memorandum, uh, so uh, the countries would be more economically um, closer and uh, cooperative. But I also need to add that I don't really know how Georgia is going to do this because uh, the uh, ruling uh, party and the government failed the hugest project of Georgia. This is Anaclia Deep Sea Port, uh, which would be so cool for Georgia, for Georgia's economy. Uh, and uh, the government didn't really give a chance to the US and to to build this project in Georgia. And instead, right now, uh, they are uh, bringing uh, Chinese investors and they believe that China will uh, do everything the best, uh, which uh, I agree with. Okay. So, unfortunately, right now, uh, there are no many things uh, which uh, are done by the government to um, make a situation better uh, in terms of uh, um, in terms of uh, uh, development uh, with the uh, values of uh, uh, Robert Schumann and the British Initiative, but uh, I believe in the future it will change the government to have the um, better uh, views and better policy too. And I also want to add, um, this is also partially uh, uh, linked with the previous uh, question, Unfortunately, for many years, youngsters in Georgia uh, believe that uh, there are no parties uh, existing in Georgia which uh, are representing uh, ideas and uh, uh, wills of uh, young people. And they believe that uh, protests uh, would uh, bring uh, the results always. And it was like that uh, till this year. But this year, the government finally showed the real face and told us, no, we are not going to uh, listen to your protests. So we will do everything what we want. And I hope uh, this year, in uh, October 26, youngsters will go to elective uh, districts and will vote to other parties. So the, I hope the situation will, will be changed in Georgia for better. And I do really hope that the place of Georgia is in Europe, in uh, so three of these initiatives, because uh, three of these initiatives is a, a continuity of the uh, idea of intermarium, isn't it? Yes. And uh, General Pilsudski uh, believes that uh, Georgia's place was also in this union. I do really hope for the better future. Thank you. Thank you, Georgi. Uh, and the last question for uh, Paweł. Uh, Paweł, what actions should be taken to better promote the idea of the three cells among young people on an educational level? Thank you. First of all, we should increase the political, political education since the middle school up to the university and the whole life of every, every person because with the growing of political identity, political education, we also see how growing is our governmental society. Uh, and uh, 
the second the second thing we we have to we have to teach our young groups our our young leaders how to take take part in Erasmus projects and first of all how to prepare the projects plan for the projects to achieve that money from the uh, European Union from funds because there are a lot of them but <coughs> unfortunately uh, many of our in initiatives I mean on the universities level uh, they are finishing at the like fantasy level we, we don't release it because we don't we don't have a information how to how to create it how to in, uh, create it in reality uh, the third uh, the third the third point is to know very well every one of us who is participating participating in three C's initiative and also in Schumann's, uh, Schumann's groups uh, know very well what are we talking about. Everyone should doskenly like read uh, at least one book about Robert Schumann to know which ideas were proclaiming because maybe somebody don't really understand uh, I mean the newest uh, newest uh, guys who are, who are trying to connect with us to join our groups, our initiative they don't understand very well what's going on it will be pretty cool that map uh, that uh, stars uh, we see this cross, and maybe somebody of them can mm, be afraid of this cross, for example, or they are just like uh, fundamental Catholics or fundamental uh, Christians. But uh, we have to to bring these ideas, these ideas of Schumann, of the fathers of European Union, in the right way. Uh, uh, so. By this way, these young people may understand nowadays what that idea means for today's generation. Thank you. Thank you. And now it's time for questions from the uh, audience. Uh, if you have any question, please uh, feel free to ask. Yeah, thank you for all the interesting voices, but I would like to refer to the last voice, you know, about, you know, uh, uh, sources of, to present, to share with the young uh, generation about who was Schumann, who, what he wanted, what uh, you know, so nowadays, uh, how we can apply his uh, purposes. So I would like to say that we have in Polish a very short book about Schumann, the, the, the blue one. It's a really very short uh, story and uh, uh, um, I think uh, very um, uh, useful. So my suggestion is that uh, you get initiated to translate this book in Georgia, in many other countries, so you just su uh, suggest your uh, friends from uh, Trimarium uh, region, that's just translate. So for you as well, this will be a challenge, right? Uh, in the process of translation. My experience that uh, anything I'm translating, I'm learning much, okay? So so this is my suggestion. The next suggestion is, you see the person, um, uh, Margaret Krippenburg, she wrote a book, which uh, we, uh, in the process of translation from English, but you can have a copy this, uh, of the PDF in English version. So what this uh, professor uh, Margaret is doing, she is, you know, organizing a certain uh, meetings, lectures, with the young people in your age, right? From not only in Netherlands, and then from uh, many countries, even from Asia, and she is, you know, talking to them about Schumann. It seems to be that she's very successful. And uh, she asked them, 
them to prepare some projects. For instance, how to apply after she is, let's say, teaching these young people about Schumann. She asked them to uh, write the project to implement the Schumann idea in the area of economy, in every area. So she has uh, many, I mean, uh, uh, projects in a written uh, uh, road by the students. So we can link, uh, we can create a relationship. You can just develop the relationship with the students, which are in Netherlands and in other, other countries. And we, we spoke today about the idea to basically accommodate this uh, kind of a, uh, uh, or not lectures, but this kind of a meetings uh, to the countries in, in this region, okay? So uh, I, I'm just, you know, informing you about your uh, opportunity and uh, capacity of that nice woman, right? Uh, and uh, because this is, uh, she do that since many years. And since the students in Netherlands and in other countries as well from the Asia, they understand what she's talking. She's talking about the Schumann even in India. Okay? Could you imagine? Not only to the students, but as well to the small children. Okay? So I'm just, you know, delivering you the kind of information where you can, what you can use and where you can explore. But thank you very much for you raise the voice and this is important that you yourself you are comfortable which uh, we comfortable with the uh, understanding and the knowledge and then uh, your language because you know this is important to talk to your peers in your language right so it's a different when I am talking to uh, to you some of you were uh, very nice you know listening to me, thank you. But you know, this is a different and important than you let talk in your language to your peers. Thank you just for getting this chance. Someone has a question? very much for your really very nice stories. I really like them very, very much. And I can tell you that yeah, our students, they also like to do what you do. I'm very curious how you came about, how did your group arise? You know, like a scientific group. How this has come about? I mean, who decided to start all this? Sarah, can you say something about it? Or? Yes, actually, um, our scientific group, um, some members of uh, it, uh, there are here, um, Polina, um, Mikhail, but um, Pavel and uh, Georgi, uh, they are not in our scientific club because it's in Lublin, yeah. uh, in Poland, so uh, <laughs> we are from different... Um, yeah, no, that, that I understood, but I, I know that you, at your university, John Paul II, yes. yeah, university, yeah. Yes. You get together with a group and you have mentors, I heard also, so they encourage you. And now I was just wondering, how did you get within your university? How did you get together? I mean, how did you find out this idea of, hey, let's start a group, you know, a scientific group? Yes, um, after after uh, Forum Primarium Schumann uh, yeah. in Kashitchen, we just were so inspired and um, that we wanted to um, join our strength and um, meet. Uh, um, often and uh, create something um, together to so have uh, the ability to um, to develop to uh, because when we are alone uh, it's really hard to find some opportunities but uh, if one person tell another that this such kind of opportunity another person uh, tell uh, about it others uh, we have a like a range um, a wide range of um, of choice and um, that's why uh, we really wanted to, to collect all of this, uh, to combine and um, to, uh, to work, uh, develop together. Uh, together. Okay. okay, I cannot promise anything yet, but I think because we will start again with a group in, in Holland with 60 students from all over the world, and there will be, we will be working in groups of 10, 
So perhaps there can also be a scientific group, that I don't know, but perhaps we could also get in touch with you then, uh, so that they, they can also share that, their ideas with you. Yes. If, that, if, if you would be open to that, that would be very nice. It would be pleasure and yeah. honor. <laughs> to and, and about the, the thing of, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something else that I just heard about the Professor Christian was saying about India. You know, the thing is to give also, okay, in India we get it also for high school and for high school students from the age 11 till 13. They read the children book and they knew everything about children. Everything. Every question I asked, yes, they knew. They were kneeling with their head, their, 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 their hand against the ceiling, you know, like that. They, so, they are young, young. They were younger than they were. That I, that I know, that I know. But I mean, but what I want to say with this is that also at in the Hague we also did it with students going to primary school, you know. So then there were the students talking about Shuma to the to the little ones. Right? And so then they told the story of Shuma and later on they were asking questions about Shuma and then you had the same thing. But then students were asking questions. This time I was asking questions. <laughs> You know, so you could also, uh, once you, well, you know a lot about Schumann, but it's also nice, and it comes also for you, uh, you can do that in, in Georgia, that you go to the elementary school and you also tell them about Schumann. And the, the kids are really very much interested, they love it, because he is very engaging. And he inspires to many projects, also social projects. Uh, we also do a lot of social projects with the students. So, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. I would like to have met you today, met you and many professors from uh, different universities in the uh, Marine region. And we came up with some certain idea, and you can uh, accept or reject, you know, for the, 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 in the future that uh, there is an opportunity to organize a conference in Strasbourg in the European Parliament where you will be as speakers, okay? So uh, some of your papers or prepared, uh, I mean, uh, speeches about Schumann and this conference would be under the name Schumann Europe. Uh, so this is a kind of a chance you can use up to you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, someone has any question? Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, I would like to uh, thank two speakers for their presentations.